Hello everyone, in this video we will see where and how to file an RTA application. RTA is to get information. RTA can be made by post or it can be made online in RTA online website. Now before you even plan to file an RTI, first search whether the information is already available. Public offices release a lot of information online. If you want to know about the document held by a particular office, try to search for it in Google like RTI manual and name of the office. Get that file and check whether you get what you want. If still you do not get it, let's move to the writing stage now. First, it is the office not the designation that is important. All you need to know is to send to which office. If you have found that, just send to the public information officer of this office. That's enough. For example, consider this. In this example, I didn't know the designation of the person, but I knew that the document is with the revenue department. So simply, I have mentioned PIO followed by the address of the concerned office. And that's enough. Second, seek only documents and not questions. Why does a person write RTA application? It is to get information. How do we get the information? By getting the document which has the information. So all we wanted was the document which contained the information. So in the application, ask the relevant document you need and not the information. Next, don't ask questions in an RTA application. Just take this example. Is there any post vacant in the revenue department? This is a yes or no question and the officer does not need to respond to such a question because RTA is to get the document, not to get the officer's opinion. So let's reframe this to kindly provide me with a certified copy of the document having details regarding the number and name of post vacant in the revenue department. It's actually just the same thing again, but it's presented differently and presentation matters. Try to frame what you want in the best possible way because anyway you have to wait for a maximum of 30 days for the reply. So go with the best. The third rule is be precise. Someone is writing an application as such. Provide the document containing the number of farmers harvesting sea same in Viram village. Here the information asked is not clear because the time period is not mentioned. We have to alter this to provide the document containing the number of farmers harvesting sea same in Viram village in the year 2000. Just by adding the time period, we are making the letter more precise. Again, remember try to be precise. The last rule is pay properly. One must be very cautious while paying for the RTA application. One must know the form in which the concerned office accepts the fee. Usually the same format will be followed for a particular state. For say in Tamil Nadu, a court fee stamp of Rs 10 is accepted across all offices under the government of Tamil Nadu. The last rule is don't forget to put a sign and put a date on the application and don't forget to keep a xerox of the fee affixed RTA application. It would be useful for proving proper payment at the appeal stages. That's all for this video. See you in another video. Bye.